Good evening and welcome to D Street. Today has been the last trading session as far as the March series is concerned. And despite what the usual norm is, wherein we tend to see a lot of volatility on expiry day, it has been relatively subdued trading session. And the only recovery that we saw was towards the last couple of hours of trade, where the Sensex and the Nifty recovered most of the losses and ended near the day's highest point. But it's been a good trading session. And as far as uh, the March series is concerned, the Sensex Nifty both have gained nearly 8%. Continuing their upward journey. Let's first take a look at the broader markets first. The Nifty and the Sensex uh, both saw some bit of uh, recovery coming in towards the last uh, one hour of trade as well. The Nifty uh, ended at about 50 to 60. That's where uh, it also ended on the 19th. So still uh, some some time away before it touches that magical figure of 53.10. That's a 52 week high. But still there was some minor recovery that came in in the last couple of hours. A look at the broader markets. BSE 500 was also uh, off the day's lowest point, up about half a percent. Small caps didn't actually do too well, given the fact that there was some selling pressure emanating as far as the small caps are concerned. Banking, metal, auto, the rate-sensitive sectors did see a late recovery coming in. Mind you, these sectors did start off on a very weak session, on a very weak note. And of course, the only sector that did, out that did outperform today was the healthcare pack, and that too, quite convincingly, the BSE Healthcare Index was up about 1%. A quick check at the advanced decline ratio that pretty much was skewed towards the sell side. Advances at 42%, declines at 57%. But again, this uh, picture does not give you a complete uh, uh, view overview of how the recovery was seen in the last couple of hours of trade, which was pretty much led by short covering, as is the usual norm on any expiry day. Let's take a look at uh, the overall highlights of the day's trading session. Of course, the Nifty and Sensex both were off the day's high, the day's lowest point by the end by the time the trading session ended. But uh, the Sensex erased an earlier drop of about uh, half a percent. The index recovered nearly 200 points from the day's low, which was uh, seen in the first couple of hours of trade. Recovery was led by short covering, of course, uh, which was the usual norm as far as the FNO expiry is concerned. The April series has started off on a relatively flattish note. Uh, the overall recovery was led by short covering, as I mentioned earlier. Pharma stocks, that was the big highlight of the session. And most of the action was visible in the mid-cap space uh, as opposed to the large-cap stocks. Turnover was at 1.58 lakh crores. Now, this is uh, up 15% uh, as compared to what we saw around the previous expiry. So, that's also a better uh, a hardening factor to see given the fact that around the last couple of expiries, we have seen the volumes and the overall open interest uh, coming down a little bit. Bharti was among the top gainers as far as the Nifty is concerned. And even Hero Honda was also... Uh, quite a big mover. The stock climbed the most in one month on a possible special dividend. Of course, the stock gained about 5% as, uh, as far as the individual movement is concerned. Let's take also a quick recap of how the March series has performed as far as the overall uh, movement is concerned. A quick check on the frontline indices first. The Nifty was up about 8%. The Sensex was also up over 8% as far as the March series is concerned. Small caps and mid caps, of course, did saw uh, some decent amount of gains. The small cap index was up about nearly 6%. The CNX mid cap was up nearly 8%. And this is pretty much uh, uh, in line with what, they, what, the, what the expectation was as far as March series is concerned. Sectorally speaking, uh, metals were the big gainers as far as this entire series is concerned, up nearly 12%. Healthcare was up nearly 11%. Banking, auto, and of course, PSUs. The only sector that managed to underperform everyone else was the PSU index, which again, uh, the stocks like NMDC, BPCL, HPCL have taken the biggest knock as far as the entire March series is concerned. Oh.